How's it going ladies and bruises, I'm Bobby Six Come and welcome back to a game that I now know is called Y2K, a postmodern adventure Or a postmodern RPG Yeah, Y2K, a postmodern RPG, that's it From now on we're just going to call it Y2K Anyway, in the first episode we got our intro in We're finding this, following this cat that took our shit And here we are in an abandoned building about to go into what is called the dungeon So we're going to head into the dungeon We're fully healed and ready to roll I'm armed with a gramophone. I'm, I've got a gramophone and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> oh no, it's a panda. Relax and quiet down. It's me, Panda. Panda? Why are you here? Who the hell are you? I came here to help you. I'm always there for you when you need me. Uh, that's good to hear. What sort of help did you have in mind? My primary use is as a barrier. I can block oncoming enemy attacks and create barriers between you and many other obstacles. Go. Cool. My metal shield makes me very heavy, so you can use me to hold ah. and to clear small gaps by stepping on my head. Open the Oh my god, there's so many buttons. F2 for the menu, space for tools menu. K is select and L is cancel. And it's all over the place. To summon me. Press L to Remember to press circle again to call me back. Also remember that some weighted switches will have reverse effects if you take me off. So, press circle to summon you and press it again to take you back? I think I get it. I should be using the controller then. Okay. I hope so, Alex. It's rather straightforward. However, since you me. were a liberal arts major, want me to explain this entire thing again? You're a rude bastard. No. Piss off. Douchebag. Piss off, douchebag. Generic water bottle. Not that. The trash can, because there's always money in them. There you go, see? $2.36. Some knob threw money away. Lucky rabbit's foot. Is that like an accessory? I'm gonna check that. Other? Yes! Next time, I'm totally going to use the controller. Maybe. So many buttons. So obviously we need to summon the panda on these switches. Is that good? Where the hell are we now? What is this? Spacey Pyramid Crazy Land? Controls. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Panda. You the man. You the man to Panda. <laughs> What's in that door? I didn't see that door down there. Oh. Crap. Okay. What's over here? What are these? There's an invisible wall. We're at a save point. I should probably save as well. What's that lady up there? She's glowing and cool. Yes. Commencing save. What's this way then? Nothing, can't use that way, okay, that's cool. That's cool, Beans, we good. Right, so if I go through this door... Cool. Okay, so we need the panda on that. I don't know how to get up there, though. Alright, this is confusing now. Alright, now we're gonna drop the panda here and step on his head. Talk to this lady. What up, G? Holy crap. 
She narrows her eyes and looks at the young man standing there. He's so tall. She seems to be looking far overhead. Their eyes meet. The young man smiles. His smile is meant to show he means no harm. Through the eyes of a high-flying dawn bird, we take in the scene from midair. From above, we see that we are intertwining organisms. What? What are you talking about? Through the eyes of a high-flying dawn bird, we observe the pyramid of dimensional shift. I don't understand what's going on here. Through the eyes of a high-flying dawn bird, we pretend not to see the eye of providence. You mean that thing? The eye of providence, or the all-seeing eye of God, is a symbol showing an eye often surrounded by rays of light, or a glory and usually enclosed by a triangle. Yeah, like on the dollar. But what does it have to do with anything? She took off like a rocket! I guess she was made out of fire, that's still pretty cool though. Money? Slice of pizza, and three dollars. Through here? That's mean. Never poke an eye. This is so messed up, man. I love it. <laughs> the pyramid's tears seem to power the room. What the hell is going on here? Seriously, we went into an abandoned building, and this is what happens. I'm just gonna give it a little poke in the eye there. A little bit of a poke in the eye. Can we use this now? We can. Alright, bye! Sorry I poked you in the eye. I feel bad, I promise. Are we there yet? <laughs> heal thyself. Am I hurt? Who knows. Let's just heal anyway. I guess I should save. Until I know what happens if you die. I'm gonna be paranoid about saving. Because I don't want to backtrack too much if I can help it. Alright, where are we going now? Naked people? They're naked of colour and everything. I've been wandering through these woods for days. I came in through the window over there to find my friend, but she's nowhere to be found. I bet she followed some stupid guy here. What? What are you talking about? I saw someone in here. They're dangerous, that's for sure. We on the lookout for a man with green eyes. Green eyes, you got it. Open the menu with the F2 button. Items and check your status. You want to tussle? Let's tussle. This music's great. I'm sick of fighting these smile things though. Can we get rid of these? Here we go, here we go. Nice! That's one down. This makes the battles take a lot longer. What does it take to level up around here? I've been fighting for a while, but I've never gotten a level up. What the hell? What am I looking at? We gotta thoroughly murder all these monsters. Bad rats! It's time to go down. The rats are strong, man. They're scary. God damn, that was lucky. Here we go! Damn! That should be enough still. Incoming! Better to defend than take a full on belt to the chops. Every time. I missed the big one. Which is nuts! Hit the little one, missed the big one. What an idiot. Ah. 
victory is mine. The Black Knight always triumphs. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, there's more enemies. Hey, dude. Five bucks. Nice. I'll come up and kill you in a second, okay? Calm yourself. You're on the schedule of murder. Can I climb through the window? The imagery is nuts. <laughs> I love it. It has an amazing art style. Love it. Tony Cage for trapping small animals. The metallic object emits a foul odor. Requires a combination to open. Well, that's something we haven't come across yet. That's that's a first. Ooh, hello. A shovel for digging up dirt. It appears as if the earth has been disturbed recently. Can I? I don't know if I want to. There's probably bodies under there. Who's there? Dully, is that you? Great, another person. Hey, I can leave if you like. No, please stay. I've been pretty lonely here. Where is here, anyway? I was hoping you'd know. I've been lost down here forever. Did you come through the elevator, too? Elevator? I don't know what that is. Then, uh, where did you come from? I asked, thinking it sounded nicer than who the hell doesn't know what an elevator is. I came from here. Is there anywhere else? Anyway, I've been looking for my cat, Dali. Have you seen her? So the stupid thing was a girl? I just assumed it was a boy cat, seeing as how it had a spindly mustache. <laughs> uh, reflected on it, facial hair was not exclusive to male animals or male humans, for that matter. Is that the cat who looks like Salvador Dali? I don't know who that is. My cat just looks like Dali herself, not another cat named Salvador. She didn't know elevators. I doubted she'd know her 20th century Spanish cattle and surrealist painters all that well either. <laughs> I said, right, I saw a cat earlier. He had a funny mustache and crazy eyes. Naturally, my description of her beloved feline was offensive to her. Clearly, this was a woman projecting a rather strong personality onto this cat. She took a deep breath and said quickly, My cat has a beautiful mustache and perfect eyes. I can't imagine we're talking about the same cat. I told her I wouldn't mind helping her find her cat. I told her we should move quickly and get out of this dank basement. I waited for a moment as she processed what I said. She was a very difficult girl to read, especially without being able to see her face. I could tell something was wrong. She really projected her opinions and feelings into the room, even without saying them. What's wrong? I, I don't have to help. I just thought you could use an extra pair of cat hunting eyes. It's not that. It's okay. Forget it. Hey, now, that's lame. You can tell me anything. No judgment here. No judgment? Great lie. I like a good liar. Hey, I'm serious. I, I didn't mean anything by that. It's not you. That wasn't fair of me. It's just... The world has used me so unkindly, I fear it's made me suspicious of everyone. Okay. For now, I choose to trust you. But I reserve the right to decide you're just as evil as the rest of the world in the future. That sounds fair. I'm down for that. Sounds like a fair deal. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Alex. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Sammy. But please call me Sammy. I don't know why I'm trusting you. I guess I always had a special spot for gingers. Hey, careful with that word. That is our word. What do you mean, our word? <laughs> you're weird, Alex. Sorry, lame joke. Let's just look for the cat. Yes, let's. Get another party member. That's cool. So we can just go now? I hope the cat's not buried under that patch of grass. I don't suppose you know the combination for this, Sammy. Nope. Guess not. Or if she does, she's not forthcoming with it. There's other windows to go through as well, though. Oh. Maybe not. Shit. 
Never did miss out on stuff because of it. Hey, it's the pyramid! Oh no. Is it a maze? I don't like mazes. Oh, balls. The eye open when I open that door. The eye open when I open that. Yeah. Ah, holy crap! Look at those treasure chests and doors and cat and man. Things are happening. Lots is happening. <laughs> what do we got? A soda? Do you want a soda? A gold bracelet. Sounds like an equipment item to me. What else we got? 40 bucks, dude. We're getting rich out here. Another 40 bucks. I'm sorry, Panda. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Careful now, Panda. Careful. Uh, Sammy. Here you go, I got stuff for you to use. You have no weapon though, so that's not very helpful, but whatever. We'll survive. There's, a, there's doors. Is this a door? I'm sure there was more doors. Was it just these doors? I can't open that either. Hello. You got a magic carpet? tell you about Dali. Dali is a tool, much like your stuffed panda friend. Use Dali to fetch items and hit switches that are too far away for you to reach. Dali can jump, so don't worry about her falling down any gaps. This will be useful, so make sure you try it. Okay. Okay, so shall we get out of here? Sorry about my house. I've been meaning to get someone in here to fix the power, but who has the time for that? I get so busy that little things like that get away from me. But that's normal, isn't it? You get used to the flaws in your own home. It's always confusing for guests. Like, my mother used to have everyone take their shoes off in the kitchen. Who does that? Oh no, I've become my mother. Oh, one last thing I should warn you about? I've got a roommate. His name is Wilhelm. Um... Well, you'll see. Okay. Hit switches and stun enemies. Nice. Can we go this way now? No. Alright, Major Kappa, take me away. Oops. Oh, can I can I get you to hit that switch over there? Dali, I choose you. Let's <laughs> shoot it like a weapon. Pow! Go, kitty. I choose you. Let us fight. Let us tussle. Here we go. She's hurt. How did she get hurt? She hasn't been in a fight yet. I'm coming out swinging. Oh god. That thing's pretty strong. Pull back and release on green. That's a lot easier. That's a lot easier than his gramophone thing. Nice, not bad, not bad. I'm getting a Paper Mario vibe of this. Go, kitty! Rip its face off! She does more damage than we do as well. Not cool, bro. <laughs> Go, kitty! Let us tussle! I want that treasure chest, and I want it now! <laughs> no, we need to get rid of the skull. Screw the smile. 
Smiles don't worry me. Nice, six hit combo. Don't get that very much. Here we go. That damage. Nice. Nice! Double dodge! Damn, we're built for this combat system. This is our jam. It's kind of like playing Underhero. Or Paper Mario. You are dead, son. What do we got? What do we got? Graphic t-shirt and fountain soda and nearly five dollars. You, my hands are all sweaty. Okay, camo jacket's still better. Alright, how do I get up there then? Meow. Oh. Crap. How do I get back down? Sorry, kitty. Ah, the kid's like, ah, I'm gonna fall, die. That's strange. This puzzle's annoying me already. Good. For some reason it takes two twacks to make it do anything. I can't... Uh, without the controller it's very hard to aim. <laughs> I only have like a few directions of movement here. Because I'm using the arrow keys. Or, or the wazzed, whatever you want to call it. Meow! Though I do enjoy the cat sound, as the cat gets flung across the room. I enjoy that. Slice off pizza! We finally got out of here, that's the main thing. Nothing in there. This place is bizarre as balls. Can't open any of the doors, still. Guess we're just going up, yeah? Oh, well, hang on. Any tr any TCs over here? No, a couple of sofas though, no TCs. I am so happy we're almost out of here. This isn't really what I expected to be doing with my day. Well, at least we found Ali. Imagine how much worse it would have been without her. Right. So, where do you live? I'll walk you back home, or maybe I can borrow my mom's car and drive you if it's outside of Frankton. What do you mean? This is my home. This is where I live. What? You live in this shithole? That's not very nice. I never call your house a crap hole because I have manners. Ever heard of them, Alex? Sorry. It's just not every day I meet a girl who lives in an old factory. I don't see it that way. I almost feel as if the factory lives with me. As if the factory, just like Dali, is part of me. The factory is part of you? Wow, you're almost as dumb as you look. Of course the factory isn't part of me, that's just weird. But you <laughs> actually live here. Yeah, just me and Dali. But usually Dali is better about keeping me company, you know? He's always just running off to God knows where. I reflected on her words. A mysterious girl who lived with her cat in an old steel mill. It was obvious to me that her words didn't contain the entire truth. Something about her compelled me. Pieces of her story started to fit together in my mind. Well, at least that's what I thought at the time. I can admit now that some pieces were pure fabrication on my part. In my head, her story went something like this. 
Sam was homeless. A runaway woman who was trying to escape hard times. Someone who had found refuge in her cat. Maybe the only thing left from her previous life. Somehow this felt right inside my head. But still, I could tell I was missing something. Her clothes were clean. Her breath was fresh. She was much more energetic than any homeless girl I'd ever known. Not that I'd known many. The secret to what I was missing lay in her temperament. Is that your hobby? Is what my hobby? Staring off into space and screwing up your face as if to say, what's going on inside my head is really important, so just let me think. Hey, I don't make that face. <laughs> <laughs> totally make that face. No, oh, don't scratch my face off. Beard, protect me. Why is it blood or something coming out of your eyes? What is going on? I had known her for less than two hours when she vanished from my sight. Sammy was gone for good. Swept away as if she'd never been there at all. A door into nothing. Into a different reality. Opened up and swallowed Sammy whole. At that moment I couldn't think. I couldn't breathe. All I could do was replay the scene of her being pulled into obscurity by nothing. There one second and gone the next. Okay. Cool. Well, that was nuts. Um, I think it must be time to wrap this episode up. Sammy's definitely gone. Uh, I guess we'll figure. Oh, it's you again. We'll figure out what happened to her or try and save her or something. I don't even know in the next episode. We're gonna find out what's gonna happen next. I don't even know. I don't even know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.